Hey, how are you? Yes. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Welcome back to our shop. We are starting today on another in the series of our mini mod marathon for this 30 inch five drawer tool cart from Harbor Freight made by US General. This is a white one and we're turning it into a PC diagnostic and repair cart and we're hoping to donate it to a program of some sort that helps to train or retrain veterans that are making that move back into civilian sector to get a great job doing maybe PC diagnostic and repair or even work on computer electrical systems and, and computers and cars. So if you are interested in Project Blue Sky, check the links and comments below and see there how you can be a part of this project. We are going to be ending it at the end of October and we're going to have the drawing for our $50 gift card for those who donated. So check that out. I will also put a card up in the corner here that has a link to the playlist for all the videos on Project Blue Sky so that you can get caught up. But you won't miss a thing if you click that notification bell down there. If you are not a subscriber yet, please subscribe. And thank you very much and thank you in advance to you new subscribers and those of you that are going to subscribe. Now, getting on with this project, what are we gonna do today? Well, if you haven't already figured it out, this project that you guys have been asking for, and here it is, we are bringing power to this diagnostic PC technician's cart. And we've got all the stuff here to do it. Some of it is pretty obvious, some of it is not. But look at this thing. All I need is a hockey mask, right? Whole hog. Look at this thing. Wow. By the way, my channel is not sponsored. Either generous donations have paid for some of these parts or I bought them myself out of my money. I barely even have gotten monetized and I'm not even getting that money just yet. So everything you see here, I've done myself, just FYI. So let's get started with the carnage. All right, well, let's get started here. Now, you guys know what a scaredy cat I am about doing carnage before I'm almost absolutely sure. And, uh, this is no exception, so we're going to perform a little test here. Now, I think I called this a whole hog, when really it's a whole dozer. So, you know, let's get it right. Don't want to kick off any of you uh, Milwaukee fans out there. I'm sure uh, Mr. Darian Robinson probably already has this. If you have not seen Darian's channel... You should go look at it, man. He is the king of Milwaukee, I guess. I, I shouldn't dub him that because, you know, I'm not the expert on it. But, man, he sure has some great stuff out there, don't you, Darian? So, I think I need about a two-inch hole. And this is about a two-inch hole maker. And so, we're going to doze a hole right through some cardboard and test out our... I want to call our plug that we're going to put in here. Let's do it on this side so we get a nice view. Okay. Heads up. Okay, we've got a nice hole in here. Now, I wouldn't say that's nice. That whole dozer really did a job on it. Now, where did you get that? I looked everywhere for stuff like this. Let me show you the one I got. I thought what I was going to have to do, this is the closest thing I could find, was get a pass-through plate like this and just kind of steal the grommet off of there and use it. But this is really flimsy. So, I ordered some one and a half inch ones, but the plug of that power strip from Harbor Freight does not pass through one and a half inch holes. So this two inch should do it. But we want to make darn sure that it's not too little, not too small. So let's see if we can 
pretend like this is a piece of sheet metal that we cut a hole in and look at that huh I think that's gonna work just fine all right now I thought a lot about this and I'm thinking that we will want to mount our strip right on the inside of here test fit there this can go under here out of the way and it will pass right through there what do you guys think and it's still on there pretty darn good okay so I grabbed the hole that we cut out of our cardboard there to test and we're gonna put it right about here so let's take this up to protect the powder coat on the front and back when we drill we'll be right back all right everyone we've got our indentation here that we made with our center punch this is where we're going to start drilling I'm going to drill a pilot hole in here so I've got a drill bit it doesn't even matter what size it is just so I can drill my pilot hole now I wanted to show you this really cool Ryobi it's got it's got a uh, chuck internally for quarter inch hex bits you just line it up in the center and push it on and you don't really even have to tighten down the chuck, but I'm going to anyway. Now to try and keep from making a mess. I've got me this kids cup from McDonald's here to keep oil from flying everywhere. And I've saturated a cotton ball with a little bit of cutting oil. Now, let's go ahead and drill our pilot hole. Now, hole dozer. Now, before I start drilling, I wanted to secure this thing pretty good, so I have the locks on and I put the casters in a kind of a crack, relief crack in the uh, pavement here in my shop. So it should keep it from moving anywhere. Let's hold toes. <laughs> Looks pretty good. All right, let's clean this up. We'll put a little bit of tape on the inside here and hit it with some of that white paint so we don't have to worry about a future of possible rust. We'll be right back. Here we go. We'll let that set up. We'll come back and take the tape off, put our grommet on, and see what it looks like. We'll be right back, everybody. Okay, we're back. It's been a couple of days. And you can see we got our hole cleaned up, but then there was a problem. I was really worried about the jagged edges on here. And if it was me, you know, pop the grommet in there, no big deal. But because I was really trying to get this to be perfect, because of the nature of what we were doing with this and, and it going somewhere else, I wanted it to be perfect. I wanted it to be safe. So I went to work to get all these edges off of here. And then when I went to go and get our grommet, now this grommet is a two inch grommet. You'll see these on the Husky toolboxes like the one I got. Before I ever got my toolbox, I checked these out in the store and this is exactly what I wanted for this project. I ended up calling 1-800-HUSKY-HD or 1-800-HD for heavy duty, Husky, 1-800-HD-HUSKY, and tried to buy one of these, and the guy said, well, let me see if they'll just send you one. Well, they did. So, you know, thank you guys over there at, at, at Husky and whoever that distributor is that, that fulfills that. Anyway, so I went to put this in, and there was a problem, boss. You could see that the hole was too big. Now, was it the hole of the problem with the hole dozer it could have been because you know look at this thing it's pretty aggressive and but when I put it in here you know it, it is pretty loose in there 
So maybe I got a little bit, you know, too busy with the file here to clean it up. I don't know, but either way, we had a problem. I, I couldn't just let this sit in there like that. So how am I going to handle this with my YouTube followers? Well, it never has been my intent to come out here and say this is how you do it you know this is the expert saying do this do that because i'm not i don't do this every day and my idea here is let me show you how i'm going to do this or how i figured out to do this and then maybe it will spark genius in yourselves and you'll come up with an idea a way to do it better and that has always been what i wanted to do is is help inspire you and give you your own ideas take what you want to use throw the rest of it away and do it your way so how was I going to fix this okay so I I could put this there but I still didn't like this papery rubber grommet in here so when I went to use the two inch grommet in it it didn't fit very well so I did have to grind on this a little bit and I didn't do a really great job but I did eventually get this grommet to fit on here very well. So this was the look we came up with. Use the plate here, taped it on exactly where I wanted it. And then we used a little cutting oil and some drill bits. Got just the right hole. Now the screws that came with this were of course, you know, set for a electrical box like an electrician would would be used to seeing so I did have to go and get some hardware all the information is in the comments below as well as links to these products so what I got was an M8 flathead Phillips screw with this little plastic washer that I thought would work better than a metal washer and a little acorn nut all this stuff was available at Home Depot and I got a pair of them to mount this so let me go ahead and finish mounting it and I'll be right back to show you the results of our our fix for our overdosed hole so what do you think it turned out pretty well didn't it for power what I got was a US general power strip now if it looks a little strange it's because it is strange I took off the cord wraps that were on either end because I can't imagine that this really needs to come out of the cart again and they were just kind of bulky and in the way. We'll just pass our cord through our grommet here and because of this little cord catch on here it needs every bit of that extra space. Well that's it. Let me bring you around and you can have a look at the other side now. So here we are. This is our grommet from the inside. And we got our power cord here. We have two USBs. Plenty of power outlets. Got a switch right up close here where we can get to it. I could have turned it around the other way and not lost this extra amount of cord here. But tucking it under there is just fine. The magnets hold it very tight to the cart. Now, what are we going to do about cable management? That is another video. That's just about going to wrap it up for this video. If you guys like the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share my videos. And click on that notification icon if you'd like to get something in your inbox when we've released a new video. I really appreciate all you new subscribers. I appreciate all of you who are sending the messages of support and encouragement. Now, if you are coming up on a weekend, make it a good one, everybody. Take care.